Hello, this is Pamela, and you're on Pamela's Adoring Crochet. Welcome to my channel. Grab your cup of coffee, sit back and relax, and enjoy some good old yarny talk. Hello, this is Pamela, and you're on Pamela's Adoring Crochet. Well, today is Whip Caddy Wednesday. And if you are new to my channel and you're like, well, what is Whip Caddy Wednesday? Whip Caddy Wednesday is where um, you guys will send in pictures of your three tier carts. Those are just the carts that's on, they're on wheels <laughs> and they have three baskets to them. And a lot of you guys, um, including me, we put our crochet projects in there. Now, I also have one where I have my baby items in for my uh, grandson. So, um, and then my sister Tanya, her husband has one and he's got tools and stuff in his. So, they're not just for um, yarn. You can use them for other things as well. But um, on this channel, <laughs> we like to showcase our uh, crochet projects in them. And so what I like to do is um, you just send me an email or you post in my Facebook group page and you uh, have a picture of your cart with all your beautiful projects on it and you tell us what's in there because you guys have some beautiful projects with patterns that go along with them and um, those are real nice to know because especially, especially when we watch this video, then we're like, oh my gosh, I'd like to make that. Um, even though all the projects are beautiful, sometimes one may stand out to you and uh, one may stand out to another person. And so that's why it's good to have a variety so that uh, because sometimes, like I said, one of them just may stand out to you. And you're like, I got to have that. I want that pattern. So um, it's really good, you know, that you share where you got your pattern from and um, you share what's going on in it. Um, and then the yarns too. Some of you guys even put, you know, what brand of yarn and things that you're using. That's real helpful as well. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I like to, uh, take the clips together and I like to talk about them and showcase them every Wednesday. What got, what things that you guys are working on. So let's go ahead and look at that video clip and see what stuff you guys are working on. Okay, here we have Lisa's cart. And Lisa says that on the top has yarn for a custom order. The middle one has hooks, needles, pins, stitch markers, and etc. And the bottom has some of the baby yarn for the prairie blankets for Angel's Charity. To the side, it says you will notice a stand full of completed charity projects. Shawls and lap gans for the cl uh, cancer clinic. Angel baby blankets and hats and scarf sets for the homeless. Uh, she said she just needs a few more hours in the day to get everything done. Wow. Oh, and um, Lisa is a.k.a. Dragon Bee Crochet. And Lisa does have a YouTube channel, so I will leave the link below if you're interested in seeing what all she's got going on. So here we have Pam's cart. Pam says that on the top she has a Christmas poncho that's made with Lion Brand Heartland yarn. Um, all is done except for the fringe. And in the middle is Annie's Love to Crochet, Lacy Mesh Shawl. Oh, I had so much fun making that shawl. Uh, this is her first time working with number two yarn. She, It's a little too fine for her, but she knows it will be beautiful when it's finished. And yes, it sure will. Um, the bottom is a throw that she made with Caron Latte Cakes, her favorite yarn ever. All right. You have some awesome stuff there. Now here we have Amorina's Crochet and Tail. Now she does have a YouTube channel. I will leave the link below to her channel. And she says that on the top she has some hooks, stitch markers, and a whip. In the bag are the colors needed for the project. A Christmas tree pattern on Pinterest is the Bobble Stitch Christmas Tree Trio. She said she is using Red Heart Super Saver Aeron, Maroon, and Sage. And on the bottom is whips for two teddy bears. Yarn Inspirations, Burnett Velvet Valentine Crochet Bear, and she's using Homespun Mediterranean Tan Color of Homespun, Red Heart Casual Cotton Blend Grand Canyon, and the middle green yarn is a whip, Crystal at Bag of Day, pattern number 742. Wow, you have a lot of fun stuff going on there. Okay, so now we have Melinda's cart. Melinda says that her caddy is full, but not real busy. And the top shelf is the start of a Mandela blanket. She said it's fun, but challenging. And she says she is following Mikey from the crochet crowd. The second shelf is all her Mandela yarns. Otherwise, she said, I am still joining my ugly square throw. 
Oh, that is so cool. I'm so glad you're working on that. And uh, hopefully you're enjoying that too. Uh, she says, happy Whip Caddy Wednesday, everyone. Well, happy Whip Caddy Wednesday to you too, Melinda. Okay, so now we have Julie's cart. And Julie does have a YouTube channel. So I will leave her link below for you guys so you can go check out her channel. Um, she says that on the top shelf of her whip cart, she has a Christmas poncho and a ribbed hat. And the middle shelf, she has a new basket that she started and a tree skirt. And the bottom shelf has a V-stitch blanket and the scrap yarn blanket. And she says that in the video, you can uh, take a closer look at these projects. And in her video, she will have links for them. And also on my Facebook group page, she has posted links to uh, these projects as well. Okay, so now we have Cindy's cart, and Cindy says on the top shelf, she has completed her grandbaby's slipper booties for Halloween, and she was thinking about putting diamond crystals in the skeleton skull eyes, and I think that'd be really cool. Um, she says on the second shelf, she has chosen teal pumpkin towels for September um, for, as part of the 12 towels for Christmas gift, and she said she got the towels at Hobby Lobby, and I love this cotton yarn. Um, and for the third shelf, she decided to go off of the corner-to-corner -corner hot pad pattern and make a blanket for her granddaughter in the colors that she likes. And for the corner-to-corner -corner blanket, she said, would you leave as is or add a border around? Personally, I always leave my corner-to-corner -corner blankets as is. Okay, so now we have Patsy's cart, and Patsy says that on her Wednesday whip cart that the middle shelf is the Jenny Lynn scarf done in the red heart ombre color, sunny, and oh, do I love that. Uh, the bottom shelf is another basket started in the red heart stripe color, fruity stripe. <laughs> That's interesting. Uh, and both are Pamela's patterns, and that she is enjoying both. And Patsy, I am so glad that you're enjoying those. I had so much fun creating them, and it just really makes me feel good to see you guys have those, some of my patterns on your carts. Okay, now we have my sister Tanya. This is her whip cart. She says that um, her whip cart's a little skimpy right now, um, but it looks nice to me, Tanya. She says that on, she's working on some slipper booties for her granddaughter, and her basket is already made. And that the bottom shelf is for Christmas pillow, and she says that she got her Ritz crackers on the top. Mmm, they look yummy. Okay, wasn't that just awesome? I mean, there are some beautiful projects going on, and so many different things. Um, very, very nice variety. Um, let's see. Um, oh yeah, my shirt today. This, my sister Tanya gave this to me, um, uh, whenever she was telling me the different shirts that she had. Um, I forgot why we were talking about shirts, but anyway, she had mentioned Metroid and I was like, what? Metroid? I mean, I gotta have it. I said, can I please, 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 please have your, have that shirt. It was still brand new and had the tag on it and she gave it to me. So here it is, Metroid. Um, if you don't know what Metroid is, it is a video game, <laughs> and it's one of my favorites, um, apparently sis my sister Tanya's favorite too, uh, it's been a while since I played this game, um, and it was my dad, and the very first Metroid that came out, um, it was, I'm not sure how you explain that, it's not, um, okay, like the, by the time I got to the third, I believe it was the third Metroid, like you are the person. Uh, this is actually a girl. It's revealed, I think, in this at the end of the second game. Um, she takes off her helmet and long, flowy hair. You know, at the very end of the game, and it's so it's revealed that she's actually a girl. <laughs> but the whole time you're playing it, you think you're playing a guy. You know, um, it, you know, it's just just the way it is. Anyway, um, so uh, Samus. In the by the third game, you are the player, like it, you're looking through Samus' eyes and you're doing the different stuff. So, the first game that come out, I'm not, I can't remember what the word is that I'm looking for, but you gamers know, you know exactly what I'm looking for, and you're probably on the other side of the camera just saying it's blah blah blah. <laughs> anyway, it's where you're moving the character, um, all over the place, <laughs> and um. But anyway, there, it was a very complex place that Samus goes to. 
and has to do all these different things and all these hurdles and things that's going on and has this big, at the end of it, you got this, you got to climb up or jump up, jump up, jump up. And most of the time you're going to fall. I mean, and you're on a, well, that's at the very end of the game and you're on a timer and all this. That's when you get to the last room and you beat the actual beat, the mother brain, um, the one that's like the big Metroid, the mother brain. Um, and then they give, put a timer on. And the, the thing is, if you don't get up there and get out and get to your ship before that timer goes off and everything's corrupting around you as you're trying to jump up, everything is just caving in and stuff. And if you don't get up there, you got to start over. So you might have been working for several weeks, you know, trying to beat the game or even longer than that. <laughs> and um, you lost the game if you can't make it up that thing in a timely manner. But anyway, it was so much fun. And my dad, um, if I could ever think about it, I'll get it from his house. And it, he actually drew out a map. Now, nowadays they have books. They didn't have books back then. But they have books um, of all the rooms and where you go and what kind of things that you find in that room and all that kind of stuff. They have books on that. But back in the day when it first came out, um, we're talking late 80s. I'm not even sure. Um, I'm trying to base it on my daughter's born in 93. So it could have been like late 80s. I know it was before 93. Um, because I was playing this before I had a kid. So I know that. Um, but it was before they came out with these um, game magazines as well. So anyway, so my dad took some white paper and taped all these papers together. And as he would go through the rooms, he would draw out the name of that room and if what power-ups he found in that room, what missiles he found in that room, and all that kind of stuff. Anyway... If I can find that, well, I know where it's at. It's at my dad's house. If I can think about it, I don't think he'll let me borrow it. But if he does, I'll bring it down here and I'll show it to you guys. I mean, it's a masterpiece. It is a masterpiece. So, um, and it's probably worth a lot of money. <laughs> you know, um, uh, you know, because of the way it was written and when it was written. I mean, it's like a piece of art. But anyway, I will bring that to you guys, uh, show that in another video. But yeah, so Metroid was uh, me and my dad's game. We would call each other um, and talk about the game <laughs> all the time. So um, yeah, moving on. Let's see, I probably talked five minutes about that. Um, you see, okay, um, let's see, what do I have here? First thing I have is not what's on my cart, but it's something I finished. I did make a basket. Uh, this is the one that's got the leg warmers in it, or boot cuffs. That's what it is. It's got the boot cuffs. And this basket stands up really good. I made it really, really tight. I'm talking every single crochet I did, I tugged. I tugged, and I tugged all the way. And this is a nice, dirty basket, but it's got um, the boot cuffs in it. So I was like, well, I'd have, to, I'd have to make a really big basket to get the headbands in there. So, um, here's my headbands, you guys know I made, and I did get the brown made. I think the last time I talked to you guys, I didn't have the brown made. Well, I'm working on the basket for it, and I'm working pretty hard on this, uh, but it's not as stiff. It's stiff, as you can tell. It's, it's stiff, but not as stiff as that one. So, um, I must have really, really did some tugging on that one. This one, um, I was just a little fed up with it. The, um, as you can see, the bottom is green and white. Well, I brought the green and white all the way up to before I started the wall. And then I started the wall. And this, I'm not sure if I got too tight on this row or not, but it wants to kind of cave in. See on the sides. Um, of course, my daughter's not going to care. Personally, I wouldn't care either. But, um, you know, I am a little bit more of a perfectionist type person. So in a way, I do care. <laughs> But anyway, that green and white came out right here, and then my wall started with all these neat, pretty colors. Well, it just looked really tacky, and I was like, I had to take it. And I was up to like right here, and I just frogged all of it to about two rows down, as you can tell. And I left the green and white there, 
uh, because it's on the bottom. No one's going to see it. Uh, not that it's a bad, but if the whole thing was done that way and then maybe changed to some green and to, it's not green and white, it's green and a, and a light pale yellow. Um, but anyway, it just looked really tacky. So um, I made a, I changed the colors for the last two rows. <laughs> anyway, so that's where I'm at. Um, I'm on row 23. That basket is 30 rows, so I'm probably going to do 30 rows on this one as well because it has to be tall enough for these right here so it's probably going to be 30 and then here's how i do the inside i care the yarn that i'm working on um i put the balls inside that i'm working on oops let's see i just lay them in here and that way as i'm crocheting the balls are inside the basket um, and then of course my hook, I just leave it hanging there on the, like that. Cause it's pretty tight. And then I just, so I just leave the hook hanging like that. <laughs> um, I am working out of this basket, these yarns right there. That's what I'm working out. That basket, it actually, I had a basket and I don't have it over here. It's over on the side of the room and a basket about this size um, full of these yarn balls. Well, this is what I'm down to. So I think that's pretty good. I used the other yarn that was in the other basket. And um, so, yeah, I'm doing pretty good. So my next doll project that I got going on, um, I've got my camo yarn. I'm fixing to start it. I uh, should be finished with the basket today. So I will at least start getting it uh, started, getting a few rows on it. This afternoon, I do have church tonight. Uh, I'll be up there in the media department. And I'm so glad you guys enjoyed me showing um, my media area that I work in. Because I work that two days a week, sometimes three, depending on what's going on. So, um, I appreciate you guys telling me how much y'all enjoyed me showing that to you guys. Um, oh, yeah, I forgot to show you my coffee. This um, is, it says... With Jesus in her heart and crochet hook in her hand, she is unstoppable. <laughs> this was given to me. So um, I appreciate this very, very much. And uh, the Starbucks coffee that's in here was given to me as well. So thank you guys for that very, very much. So this was given to me. This was given to me. The coffee was given to me. <laughs> oh my gosh. I am very blessed. Mm, that coffee really is good. I'm going to be sad to see that go. Um, I guess I'll just have to find me some more, right? <laughs> uh, let's see. What else do I have? Um, I do plan on starting my Annie's kit because I've only got three rows and I'll be done. So I will probably tackle that over the next few days. But I really want to get a few of my doll outfits or doll projects. Um, this one that I'm working on now is not a doll outfit. But it, it's a doll project for the dolls. Anyway, so um, I plan on getting those done. I'm very excited about getting that done. It's been a while since I've designed some doll clothes. Um, actually, um, it's been a little hard to design. And the design and creativity is finally starting to come back. Um, it was hard to start crocheting. But once I started crocheting, it was therapy. But the designing part, I just couldn't do. But it's slowly coming back. Um, and the excitement of the designing part of it is, is, is slowly coming back. So I appreciate all the prayers, all the thank you cards and things that I get from you guys. I really, truly appreciate that very, very much. Um, let's see. I'm so glad to have you guys. <laughs> so glad. Just us. The faith which you have, have as your own conviction before God. Happy is he who does not condemn himself in what he approves. That's Romans 14, 22. Lord my God, you are the tether that keeps me grounded in the law of love. As I walk this road with you, let my heart stay rooted in the relationship with you, the way, the truth, and the life. May I live with the conviction of my faith as I keep my hands readily serving in the world. May my ears stay tuned to your voice, my eyes with the ability to see your love in the most unlikely places, and my heart to the compassion that calls out your name. I remain rooted in you, the originator of my faith. 
I am like a tree planted by the streams of living water. As I drink deeply of you, I grow and bear the fruit of your kingdom. I will stay steady in the confidence you give me as a child of God. I won't be swayed by the world's ways as long as I have you in my sight. What fuels your faith? This is a really good one to think about, guys. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the 365 days as much as I did. Um, I do have another non-yarny life vlog where I cook something else again. <laughs> and um, I'll be glad to show that in um, another video. You guys seem to like that a lot. And I do enjoy putting that together as well. And uh, so, yeah, that's all that I have for this video. Just remember, guys, to be yourself, don't quit, and live life and have fun. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.